Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the garage. I was in the process of finishing up this front cross member frame for the 280Z, but I decided to stop real quick to talk about something that I think uh, I need to share, uh, and that is removing mill scale. Now, I am a bit of a novice metal worker. I started only this year, but one of the things I really, really hate is removing mill scale. And if you're watching this video, you probably already know what mill scale is. But in quick summary, in the process of forming this metal, contaminants and impurities in the metal actually end up on the outside, forming this kind of a gray layer on top of most of the hot rolled uh, steel that you'll find. Now, depending on where you bought it from, you may also find kind of grease or oily film on the metal pieces because they, you know, they put that on there to reduce rust as much as possible during transport and storage. But for a variety of reasons, it's important to kind of clean this off before you paint or even weld. The most common ways that people go about it is used to, um, to use an angle grinder, maybe with a sanding disc or this uh, easy strip disc or the good old wire wheel. Now, all three of these methods I found extremely frustrating to use. Now, it may not be that big of a deal when you're working with a small piece like this, but if you're working with a large plate, it can be extremely time consuming and frustrating. So I'm going to talk to you guys about two ways that I found to be enormous time savers, and they are both pretty cheap. So let's talk about the first one. The first method actually doesn't involve a grinder at all. It's simply using household white distilled vinegar. Vinegar is one of those miracle fluids. Uh, people find all kinds of uses for it, like cooking, cleaning, disinfecting, and even getting rid of rust. But one use that you may not have known about is if given enough time, it's great at removing mill scale while leaving the pure metal beneath intact. Some people like to use stronger acids to do this, like muriatic acid, but I prefer vinegar because it's not as dangerous to the skin and the lungs. It's cheap and commonly found in grocery stores, and given enough time, it works just as well. So all you need to do is find a plastic tub, fill it with vinegar, and submerge your metal pieces. So we'll leave it here for about four hours and come back later to check what happens. Uh, but if you're using a plastic tub, go ahead and put a lid on it because you don't want your entire garage to smell like vinegar. On second thought, before we close this up, uh, let's drop something in there that's slightly more interesting just to see what happens in a vinegar bath. I'm gonna drop this uh, rusty frame piece with bits of paint and primer still on it. Um, Hey, we'll put that in the tub and we'll check on it later. We'll see what it can do. Now, while we wait for the vinegar to work, um, I want to start talking about the second method because using vinegar is great, but uh, sometimes using vinegar just isn't that practical. Uh, maybe you don't have that time to wait. You need the piece right now. Or um, maybe you're working on a piece that you just can't dunk in a vat of vinegar. So that's where the angle grinder comes back in and we're gonna have to resort to something mechanical. And I have a secret weapon for that as well. But before I reveal what that is, let's kind of try out the more common ways of removing mill scale just to see how these things compare. So first up is the wire wheel. This was the very first thing that I picked up off the shelf when I encountered mill scale for the first time, so let's see how it does. I'm going to count to 30 Mississippis in my head while I try to clear as much mill scale as possible on this metal sheet in that amount of time. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it basically didn't remove mill scale at all. It all it managed to do was make the surface shinier, the mill scale is still there. The next tool is the sanding disc. Uh, the one that I'm using is a fresh brand new 80 grit disc and this should do a tiny bit better. Now the sanding disc does something not so great to the metal surface while you grind the mill scale away, which is that it bites into the metal. You can see how unevenly it's working on the surface, and while uh, the sanding disc can work in a pinch, 
it doesn't work very fast and this, and the disc by biting into the metal in places creates a kind of a uneven surface and this may not be that big of a deal if you're working on structural pieces but if you're doing precision body work this is definitely no good the third up is the easy strip disc which is by far my favorite tool to strip paint and rust off of smooth surface metal and as with the sanding disc we'll use a brand new one to see how it does Now, it seems to be working great, much better than the wire wheel or the sanding disc. It's removing mill scale pretty fast without biting into the metal, so what's wrong with using this? Well, its fatal flaw is that it won't work great for very long. Eventually, the mill scale will clog up the disc, and it will work about as well as the sanding disc once that happens. And these things aren't really that cheap, you can't just switch them out every 5 minutes when they become useless. So, what's my secret weapon? The Scotch-Brite Clean and Strip Disc. Okay, so this may not be that much of a secret, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about it already, but it's definitely by far my favorite disc to use with an angle grinder, specifically to remove mill scale. I, by the way, I freaking love that Scotch-Brite, the company that I knew from um, buying dishwashing sponges, is making angle grinder discs. So let's pop this on and see how it does. Now, I think this basically speaks for itself. As you can see, it's working effortlessly through the mill scale, and it works even better than the Easy Strip Disc. However, for whatever reason, this clogs up a lot less than the Easy Strip Disc. And I'll show you a disc that I've been using for weeks to do nothing but clean up mill scale, and check this out. There's still a little bit of residue on it, but it's not enough to render it completely ineffective like it did to the Easy Strip Disc. The Scotch-Brite disc, as it turns out, does a lot of things really well, including making quick work of surface rust on sheet metal without heating it up, or even removing paint and primer. So I'll link to the product below in the description, give that a click to buy the product, or just to support the channel, just click it and buy whatever it is you want, it doesn't cost you anything. Alright, so it's been about four to five hours since we put everything into the vinegar tub. So let's see how much progress it actually made so far. So after about four hours, you should be able to rub most, if not all of the mill scale right off. Um, what I usually do at this point is to just kind of rub everything off under running water. Or if you have a pressure washer, you can do that as well. Now you can still see specks of mill scale still on the metal, but they won't be there if you leave it in there for a couple more hours. For really tough pieces, you can totally just leave it in there for days, and the metal itself will be just fine. Uh, vinegar isn't a very strong acid, it doesn't affect metal that fast. Um, in another video, I had left the metal pieces in the tub for over a week, and I'll show you how those turned out just fine. But let's see what vinegar did to this frame piece, um, although it's kind of besides the point of this entire video. I think since the rust is so bad, it probably needs to be in there for quite a bit longer to clean it all up. But one interesting that I noted is that it stripped some of the paint as well, which is a nice bonus. So let's give this a good brush and see how much work it actually did in four hours. And like I said, it did quite a bit of work, but it, I think it'll look even better in a day or two. Uh, this Again, this really wasn't the point of the video, but finding new ways to get rid of rust is always fun. Alright, cool. That's it for today. I hope that saves you guys a little bit of time and trouble. Talk to you guys later.